He's a bully. He's always been a bully and he knows it. I think he wasn't expecting someone like me to say, no, I really don't care about how much money you have. I care the fact that you're not following the law. I get a call from Councilman Kenyatta and he tells me, Mr. Maroon is building a second bridge without environmental clearances and without a permit. I said, there's no way, no way. How can you just build a bridge without a permit? And sure enough, that's exactly what I found out. So I called the US Coast Guard, I called the Federal Highway Administration, I called everybody. And I said, do you know what this ramp is? Is this an interchange connection or is this a bridge, an international crossing that he's building without going through the environmental clearances? And Congressman Dingell um, was involved. I had told him what was happening. He was able, and this is not usually the case, but he was able to get our community a US Coast Guard hearing. I literally went door to door flyers and asking people to show up. Over 500 residents showed up and we asked that there is an environmental impact study done before he builds his bridge. He thought he was above the law. He thought he didn't have to get the permits. He didn't have to go through the environmental processes. And because of that U.S. Coast Guard hearing, they suspended his application. Him getting that suspended really upset him to the point that he funded a recall effort against me within six months of me getting sworn in and three recall petitions were filed. He was fully funding not only the recall effort, but funding my opponent's campaigns. I decided that I wasn't gonna side with him. I wasn't gonna look the other way like everybody else did. And so I took on the fight and it became a, a whole six, seven year and continues to be a fight between he and I. And it's all because I said to him in a meeting, Mr. Roon, can you please apply for permits? And he says to me, Rashida, I don't come and tell you what to do in your backyard. And I said, but Mr. Maroon, it is my backyard. I have to protect the public interest of the families I represent.